Okay, in here I have this open bags. Is um, good for meat when you want the meat to be tender and come five bags. So we're gonna use one. Let me show you. Um, I'm gonna show you a. I think it holds up to eight pounds of meat, and it comes with this um, recipes, and also it comes with different um, temperature for different meat like poultry, beef, lamb, pork, etc. So it's by the pound, so that helps you too. And I'm gonna show you also it comes with the uh, with those strings to seal the bags, okay? We're going to try to make that recipe in there, okay? That's what we're going to try to make. And I'm going to show you how big is the bag. Let me open it. That way you can see it. Okay, this is how big this bag is. So we're going to put it on this side. And now I'm going to show you the meat we're going to use. I have this, um, this is pork pork loin fillets this is one pound and a half and what I'm going to do is I'm going to open it I'm going to take it out of this uh, plastic bag I'm going to wash the uh, this meat and then we're going to cut it in slices okay I'm going to go ahead and show you I'm going to cut it for two three inches but that's depending on you you can cut it thinner or thicker are you see one so I'm gonna go ahead and continue cutting this meat and then we're going to we're gonna show you the other ingredients. This is the meat already cut off and now I'm going to show you the ingredients and first of all we're going to preheat the oven at 400 400 and then and then I'm going to show you all the ingredients but I'm going to leave all the ingredients and the sad amounts in the description box below this video so as the, you watch this video go ahead and write it down all the ingredients because it's going to be in the description box below okay I have um, one teaspoon this is one teaspoon measurement and this one is one tablespoon measurement. We also have in here one third cup of honey. This is one fourth cup of honey. Uh, oh, this is Dijon mustard. And this one have honey, but this is the this is what I have. But you can use Dijon mustard. One fourth cup. We're gonna use salt and pepper, and two teaspoons or to taste. One teaspoon of black pepper. We also gonna use, uh, yeah, like you see, one teaspoon of black pepper right there. And we have um, maicena, which is fecula de maíz. In English, is cornstarch. We're gonna use two tablespoons of that. And this is one, this one in here. We're gonna use one tablespoon of that sauce. <laughs> Worcestershire, Worcestershire, I do, I don't know how to say that. I'm sorry, but as you see, this is what we're gonna use: one tablespoon of that sauce. And we also want to use one pound of the asparagus, fresh asparagus. And here I have a baking pan. This is a 13 by nine by two baking pan and we're going to open the bag if you can leave this meat marinated for 30 minutes to an hour it's even better what we're going to do we're going to open the bag and we're going to put all the ingredients in there simple this is a very simple recipe we're going to start by the cornstarch we're going to add a two tablespoons of cornstarch we're going to add a honey Now we're gonna add the Dijon mustard, one fourth cup. Mm. 
the sauce that was Worcestershire <laughs> sauce. <laughs> Two tablespoons. And the salt. I'm going to add two, te two teaspoons of salt, but salt is to your taste. If you want, you can add salt. I want to mention if you, if you don't eat pork or you don't want to make it with pork, definitely you can make it with chicken breast. And you can use one pound of chicken breast, boneless in a skillet, and just cut it the way it is. One teaspoon of black pepper. Mix it up. And now we're gonna place the um the place the uh, meat inside and make sure you cover the meat with all this mix. Now mix everything. Make sure everything is well combined. If you let it marinate it for an hour, you can come out probably every 10 minutes and start shaking the bag. That way all this all those flavors combine. Now I'm gonna go ahead and show you the asparagus. And here I have one bunch, like a pound of asparagus. I'm just gonna remove this rubber. And then I'm gonna wash this asparagus very good. You can cut it in three, but I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna leave it whole like this. So I'm gonna go ahead and wash it and I'm coming back. Now you're gonna add asparagus inside. You're gonna do the same thing. You're just going to move it that way the asparagus get all those flavor and if you're going to leave them marinated for an hour you don't need to preheat the oven yet you're going to preheat the oven probably 10 minutes before you're going to bake uh this um this meat with asparagus okay you don't have to have your oven on for an hour so do it 10 minutes before now we're just going to Put the um, the little seal thing. This is what you're gonna do. Just putting in the first one, like that, and then you're going to cut some of those um, plastic paper. Just making some little cuts. That way the paper escape through those holes, like this. Probably two or three. I'm gonna make another one. And we're going to put this in the oven at 400 degrees for 12 to 14 minutes. And I'm gonna show you the final result after 14 minutes. I leave mine for approximately 20 minutes, a little bit longer. What I did is I let it cool down for five minutes. Be careful because the thing can burn you. So let it cool down for five minutes and then open it and you're gonna have this meat with a nice gravy. I'm going to serve this meat with asparagus and on the side, I'm going to serve it with some yellow rice. So carefully, you're gonna remove them and put it in the uh, baking pan and ready to serve. So I hope you guys like this video. If you like it, please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos and share with your family and friends. I also have this recipe and the Spanish version. So here is the pork tenderloin with the asparagus. Thank you for watching. And here is the plate. As you see, the yellow rice, asparagus, and the meat. So, bye-bye.